That's our new leaders right there. Big Silly! University of Montevallo, 24-96. National champions, Wallace State, Briar and Clinton. Hey there, everybody. Welcome into the latest new episode of the Rapala We Are Collegiate Bass podcast. This fall semester is wrapping up. Anglers are taking their finals, getting ready to head back home. We're going to have our guest on today, University of North Alabama. We've got Carter Nutt, Nathan Reynolds, and Bryce Kissler from the third-ranked team in the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abdul Garcia. UNA has 12,135 points this season. On today's show, we're going to talk to each of these anglers, get a little insight into how the season's gone so far, how they feel about their prospects for joining Montevallo atop the food chain there, becoming yeah, have an opportunity to become the second team ever to win the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year, presented by Abu Garcia three times, as well as anything else that they've got to share with us. So let's just jump right in. Carter, we'll start with you real quick, man. This season so far, throughout the fall, tell me a little bit about how things have gone. I know that your brother won a session at the Bass Pro Shop's Big Bass Bash, presented by Berkeley, got a top five for the team, lots of valuable points there. Seeing you guys out on the trail again there at the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open at Darnell. Kind of give me a recap how the past four or five months have gone to kick off the year. So I tell you, we really got off to a good start at Kentucky Lake. Uh, last year, you know, our team really struggled. We didn't have any good finishes at the Big Bass Bash. But this year, you know, we won three sessions and finished uh, fifth overall. And, uh, you know, that really got us off to a good start and gave us some good points to start the year. And, you know, we, we just uh, tried to tried to keep going and, and catch them as, as best as we could. You know, we, we, didn't, we didn't do the best uh, – that we we're hoping for at Dardanelle, but you know we tried to uh, tried to have a at least a top ten in every tournament. Yeah, maybe not what you were hoping for, but for me, as I look at it, and we write the articles and run the tournaments at the ACA Double Points events, if you can get three thousand points or better statistically over the last couple of years, as we've done the double points and the point intervals in the way that we have. If those teams that are consistently up there towards the top five, top ten for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year, presented by Abu Garcia on a regular basis, are earning 3,000-plus points at ACA Double Points Events, which you all have done at the Big Bass Bass, the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. UNA got 3,350 points. And at the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open on Lake Darnell, 3,090. So far this season, looking at school run events, other major trails, things like that, UNA's tallied three top fives, four top tens, and 11 top 20 finishes. Nathan, same question I asked Carter there. As you look at it from a club perspective, UNA have won the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia two times. You guys have got a good good momentum going here, currently ranked third. That information I just listed off for how the fall has gone, does that kind of line up with what the team expectations were entering the season? Well, yeah. I think uh, as long as we're always improving and, and, and learning from from uh, from the prior year, we're, we're making some headway there. But uh, – you know, we, we go into the year every year uh, saying school of the year is our main goal. And I think uh, the start of this year is just, just goes to uh, to speak for our, for our teamwork. You know, we uh, we share information with each other and and we all just try and help out because we all have that same goal of school of the year. Um, that goes for all those opens and then and then those little team ran team ran tournaments as well. We, we try to um, always send boats there, too, and and just help each other out as much as we can to to get to that goal of, of school of the year. Bryce, as he was answering there, Nathan talked a little bit about the team and how y'all work together and maybe strategize a game plan and get out on the and have success across the country. Let's talk a little bit more about that in detail. Talk to me, you know, how how what is it like inside of the team there at UNA? We talk to teams all across the country. Some have coaches, some don't. Some have anglers from all over the place. Other teams have anglers that are regional, whether it's community college or something like that. There's different things that make make each team unique and contribute to what sets you apart from everybody else. Talk a little bit about the makeup of this team there at UNA, whether it be anglers from different areas, anglers with strengths specifically there on the Tennessee River, which y'all are near. Kind of give me a little bit of a breakdown of what makes this team a good group of strong, solid anglers. Yeah, so we're like really what I love about this team is how competitive these, how competitive it is. You know, we have a bunch of tournaments around the TVA, and 
uh, you know, you know, you're going to get some hammers and it makes you better because you always want to be, you know, do good. And you always know you're competing against some competitors. They're going out to win and your goal is to go out to win too. So you got to, you know, you got to put in that work. And ultimately, I think that makes us better as a team because we learn more. Uh, you know, we fish better. We put in our time. And that goes to say that other anglers from, we have anglers from Ohio. We have anglers from New Hampshire. I mean, all around the country that bring different, uh, you know, abilities that they learn from their hometown. They bring it here. And it also helps us learn how they fish. And so that also makes us better. But, you know, ultimately, like I was saying, is the competitive nature of this team is incredible. And that's honestly, for my personal standing, that's what has made me a better angler is UNA has really brought in some solid anglers. You know, you got some of the best anglers in the country on UNA and it's just going to make you better. And that's why I think the real, like our UNA has over, I'm saying like most other schools I've either seen or talked to is the competitive nature we have and our, you know, our qualifiers have always been a really fun to fish because I always learn something or I feel like I'm getting better. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what I like to say. Yeah, definitely a good response. You hear about the club qualifiers and, and different schools that we've had on the show throughout the years. And also even last year, as you saw Montevallo work their way towards history, and we're talking to them on the stage at Pickwick, which is the second to last event of the year before the year in championship at Lake Hartwell. And they're basically saying, you know, the competitiveness amongst the team is to the point where if you're not beating your own teammates, you're not even doing well in the tournament to say that they've got teams doing well everywhere. And you've got to beat your own teammates if you're going to be up there near the top. Same thing that you guys are starting to put together here so far this season with the data we rolled out just a little bit ago. Carter, let's talk about that now. The season for the ACA and the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia is going to conclude at Pickwick Lake. Florence, Alabama, where your university, UNA, is located in May for the Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. You look at our schedule, we're there. We've already fished at Kentucky Lake, as we talked about, also on the Tennessee River. And when we take a look at Lake Darnell throughout the year, it's almost like the Tennessee River West for UNA, it seems like. There's always teams up there doing well for y'all. What is it maybe about the anglers from the area you're coming from, as we just discussed? Like, does the Tennessee River set up to the point where you can go anywhere and there's something on that particular fishery, whether it's offshore, current, smallmouth, largemouth spotted bass? Like, what is it that is so conducive to you guys being able to leave your home waters and still have a lot of success on the college circuit? You know, I tell you one thing about our team is uh, a lot of us, we, you know, we don't all do the same thing. You know, there's a lot of people who go out and spend a lot of time on Pickwick fishing grass. A lot of people who spend a lot of time fishing current. A lot of people who go out, you know, try and learn to fish deep. And, you know, there's a lot of different things on, on you know, Pickwick and in our area that, that really you, translates to a lot of different lakes. You know, we've got Smith Lake's very close. We've got Bay Springs. We've got Wilson, Kentucky Lake, Pickwick. I mean, we've got a really uh, vast array of fisheries, in, you know, within an hour and a half of the school. And, you know, that that helps us all be better overall anglers. And, uh, you know, if we go to a lake that is going to be predominantly uh, grass, you know, we've got anglers who have spent a lot of time fishing grass and who really know the ins and outs. And that really helps us as a team to do better uh, all over the country. Nathan. And, I, and one thing about the team, you know, with us ending up on uh, Pickwick for the championship, you know, we were really excited about that. Um, uh, you know, our team has, has won the Boat U.S. there in the past, and uh, I think we've got a good shot this year. Yeah, I'm going to change the order of my questions a little bit so we can build upon that. I was going to save the, the end of the season for last, but let's talk about it right now. So as we mentioned, Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. Final stop of the year for us, the ACA, where we will crown a new national champion. It's going to be a key event. Triple points towards the Bass Pro Shops School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Definitely going to play a key role in the defining that race as well as the season draws to an end close there at Florence, Alabama and Pickwick Lake. Nathan, come in here and talk to me a little bit, man. Y'all have been there a couple years. Every I recognize most of y'all's names. I know y'all have been on campus at least one year, if not two or three, maybe even four. What's it like having a major event, you know, each season pretty much? The ACA comes to town for going on 
close to 8, 10, maybe even 12 years now, the first year that the ACA ever took an event to Florence. I was a sophomore, junior in college, and I got to compete. It was a big bass bash that go around, and from there on out, it was the championship for a long time. What's it like to have a major trail like this come to y'all's hometown right there close to the house on a body of water that you're all familiar with, you know, to be able to have a national championship hosted there, key towards that Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia, and it'd be right in your backyard. Well, it's definitely a great refresh, you know. Uh, traveling all around the country, um, it can be challenging, and, and rightfully so, but but being able to come come home and, and sleep in your own bed and, and go out and kind of kind of just have that confidence of, hey, maybe I might not get a, a bite or I might not catch a fish here, but I know another place that after this I might could give you a bite. It, it, it definitely takes some pressure off. And uh, it, it allows you to just fish with confidence, and I think that's why we've had success there in the past. And and uh, I know that's uh, that's why the team's really looking forward to the championship being on Pickwick. Bryce, for yourself, we'll, we'll build upon that same question I just asked Nathan. The Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia, kind of a main topic here. We're talking with you guys today as you sit here at the moment, ranked third, right there on the doorstep, man. Triple points at that tournament. If you're within about six or 7,000, mathematically, you're not really out of it. Now, realistically, you probably need to be within a couple thousand because – more often than not, those teams in first and second, they're there for a reason. They're going to place teams up and earn valuable points. How awesome is it to know that y'all have got a chance at one of the most pivotal key events of the year to be right there at home, maybe have friends and family come into town, um, show out in front of the hometown crowd that you might be familiar with. Just kind of talk a little bit about that atmosphere right there at McFarland Park in Florence on the shores of Pickwick Lake. I mean, you could just about – hit a golf ball and landed on your campus you guys are so close it to be in a key race like this and have that right there and your hometown essentially that's that's got to be a very key deal for you and a right it's awesome awesome also like nerve-wracking at the same time you know it's awesome you got all the guys we're all hot about it's you know it's in our backyard but then at the same time you got the hometown jitters where it's like okay, I think I can catch fish here or I know I can catch fish here and sometimes it'll work out and you have that pressure. And I think that that's a real big key is the pressure. Um, you know, having that pressure, you could either fall or, you, you know, do really good. But, you know, like you said, having the backyard, we're always on the water. We're all, we're very, you know, we've, we're very comfortable with the TVA. And so I think it, it's, it's really in our ballpark that we, we do really good, but, at the same time, you have that feeling that, like, hey, I, it's, just, it's just that pressure that really kills you sometimes. And um, I'm really excited, and I know the team's excited to have it in our backyard. And I think all the team would do really good. You know, like Carter was saying, we all fish very differently. So we can spread out through the, you know, through the lake pretty well and, you know, have different opportunities to do very well. And I'm really excited to see where it goes. And, we're talking with Carter Nutt, Nathan Reynolds, and Bryce Kissler from the University of North Alabama, ranked third in the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year, presented by Abu Garcia. Carter, let's talk a little bit more about what Bryce was hitting on there, the being on the home waters. We see it quite a bit, actually. It's kind of interesting. But right before I started working here with the ACA, uh, UNA won the national championship a couple times The for, for the ACA's national championship tournament happening there at Pickwick Lake, and even – wrapped up a couple of Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia titles. But since that last national championship, maybe six, seven years ago or so, while there may be, have been a few teams close, UNA maybe not hasn't, hasn't done as well as you would have expected them to on Pickwick Lake. Um, times of the year, you know, we started alternating, so we have a spring event and then the championship a, a month after that in the following year. So we're hitting it at a little different season. Um, the lakes kind of fluctuated a little bit as well and seen some different changes. Tell me a little, you know, and maybe even it's just the nerves. Like, you go out and you know that nobody knows the lake better than you guys. And for some people, that's an advantage where you kind of feel like an alpha and you can take the reins and go take care of business. And for other people like myself, I got to fish – a national championship with the ACA at Lake Louisville, which is 10 minutes from my parents' house. I got to sleep in my own bed. I went out to a lake that I've fished many a time over the years, and I got out there for two days, and I had no clue what I was doing. You can't explain it, really. You know, part of it's mental. Um, you know, there in a big field like that, conditions maybe were didn't set up the way you wanted, whatever it is. Talk a little bit about being on your home water and how you guys handle it, for better or worse, being out there on Pickwick during a major tournament. Uh, you know, it really, it, 
it does put a lot of pressure on you to do well, but also at the same time, you know, we've spent so much time out there and, you know, we're all really comfortable with the lake and, and how it fishes. And, you know, last year we had the, the uh, Bassmaster National Championship out there and we had one team in the top 12, but other than that, you know, we really did not do as good as, as, as we were expecting to. Uh, but, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, but this year, you know, with it being a little bit earlier in the year, I'm, I'm excited for our potential. Yeah, you bet, man. It's always fun to get down there to Florence and Pickwick Lake. You show up in the summer. We get there not necessarily early by any means, but for the summer bite, you know, that, that last weekend of May, there's still some fish figuring out that they need to get out deep, so there's some shallow happening. And then there's a lot of different areas. There's the stuff in between, kind of intermediate, where they're shallow, but they're not deep, but they're not really – they're kind of in between, and then some of them have already made it all the way out, and you've got your mega schools and your community holes loading up with fish. Always a great time to get out there that time of the year. Nathan, one question for you and then one for Bryce, and we'll let you all go. The club, UNA, kind of talk a little bit about how you guys go about promoting it. I know that you all run some school-run events that get sanctioned by the ACA for points throughout the year. Very active club over the last 10, 12 years. As we mentioned, have a couple of Bass Pro Shop School of the Year titles presented by Abu Garcia. Kind of give me a little bit of a breakdown um, about how you guys go about, whether it's promoting the club um, on social media, being able to grow funds so y'all can go out and go over all across the country and compete, as well as bring in anglers to keep you relevant in the national scale of collegiate bass fishing. Definitely. So we have a pretty big, pretty tight knit community in Florence, which, which kind of allows us to, to, uh, to branch out from there with the support we already have, have around town. But, um, like you said, uh, we've, we've got a pretty strong social media game going. Uh, we're looking to, to do some video work in the future. Haven't really, uh, landed with that yet, but, but we're, it's in the works, and uh, that'll definitely play. Uh, right now, and for the past few years, our, our biggest promoter definitely has been our 25 Days of Christmas giveaway, uh, where, where uh, we're able to fund some money for the team and, uh, and get the name out there. Um, anyone's able to participate in that, and that, that's, that's our, our big deal for the year. Um, but other than that, we're, we're always uh, consistently showing up at, at other schools' tournaments. Uh, we host a high school tournament every year, and uh, we also try to host an open tournament to anybody who can um, who can show up. So, so those are just kind of a few things that we like to to do that 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 keep our name out there. All right, Bryce. Last question, man. Two parter. <clears throat> so follow along here. First off, I want you to kind of briefly explain how you got involved with the club at UNA. Your your journey there. Maybe you knew someone already there. You're from close by. Whatever it might be. Kind of tell me how you found out about the team and got involved. And then to finish that, let anyone know who's listening. Maybe kind of a little bit of a sales pitch. Hey man, this is what I love about the club at UNA. And here's how you can get involved as well. Right. So my first two year of college, I went to Calhoun, which is a community college. And I was really looking for, during that time, I was looking for a school to go to because I knew I wanted to fish. And I had a couple of schools in mind, but you really, you and they really popped out to me because on the TVA, I saw all these guys, you know, traveling as a team. And actually, uh, it was at the Pickwick Slam in like April, like two years, three years ago. And I saw these UNA guys doing really good. And I saw like just the atmosphere they had there as a team. And I was like, I really want to be a part of that. And just knowing that, you know, yeah, Pickwick, Wilson, Kentucky Lake. Growing up on Gunnersville, having those TVA lakes in your backyard has been really, like, important to me. So, like, you can go after class, like, go fishing. Before class, you can go fishing. So, it really, I mean, it builds your skills, and that's where I really want to do I want to be better. I knew you and they had a competitive nature, and so that's why I want to be a part of it. And as a team, I mean, now that I see it as being part of the team, like, that we all work together. I mean, even for the 25 days of Christmas, like Nathan was saying, everyone per- participates, and it's just really cool that every one of the team has the same mindset. They always they want the school of the year points. They want to be better, and they all want to make each other better. And that's what, uh, like, part of the team I want to be on. You know, I want to be on a team that's going to make, make you better and do good at the same time. And that's where, really what I think UNA, you know, strives and does really good is because we just have a bunch of guys who bring a di- bunch of different talents in. They bring relationships in that really – and just make us better and i really want to give a big shout out to brian brian morgan he's our new advisor this year and he's done really good 
like for the team to find sponsors and just our community around Florence. Uh, we have great parents who support the team and, and Brian Morgan has, he's all, he works for the school, but he's all about the team. And I really think that's going to go pretty far. He wants to get the videos done. He wants to help support social media. I think after a long time that will eventually you and they will just get so big that you, I mean, it's going to be no question. Everyone wants to want to go to UNA. And so that's why I think, um, you know, UNA has a big future and that's where I hope we go, you know, Royal Lions. Awesome. Definitely a good message there. That's going to kind of wrap up our conversation with third ranked university in North Alabama. That was Carter Nutt, Nathan Reynolds and Bryce Kistler guys. Um, best of luck here towards the end of the semester. If you're not already finished, enjoy finals as best you can and make it on back home safe. And we hope to see you guys on the trail this spring is believe it or not, Man, spring season gets roaring right there in January, so we'll have an updated points ranking out at the first of the year, and we're ready to ready to keep things going here. Um, again, guys, thank you all, and we appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Welcome to Minnow King. How can I help you? Everything looks good. I'm friggin' starving, man. Been spawning all morning. Ugh, TMI, bro. What do you want? I'll take a Crush City Freeloader and Gizzard Shad. Anything to drink. Water. Pull ahead, please. Welcome to Minnow King. We're gonna have what he's had. Yeah, throw me in a Ned BLT, too. Pull ahead, please. Calm down, quit feeding so much. Hey, man, I'm trying to, man, if you, if you, if you overfeed him, he's gonna hide under a log. If you wanna be here, it all starts here. At Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, we have the widest selection of the quality brands you love to get you outdoors. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, our friendly, knowledgeable outfitters will help you find the right products for your next trip. Shop with confidence with our low price guarantee. Plus, club members save even more on great gear with exclusive member pricing. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, voted America's best outdoor retailer.